understanding the difference between memorizing and thinking very very important the question is like that's great everyone that makes a lot of sense but how does one actually do that yes okay 100 percent. the first is the the tool of um why does this exist you're going to go into every single topic whatever it is auditing manic phonetic text everything your starting point is why does this thing exist if you can answer that question Now, when you learn, you start understanding that the stuff and the topics that we're teaching you are tools to Mm. solve problems. But if you don't understand what the problem is, then you're just like, this is a screwdriver. We use screwdrivers to screw nails. Was it nails or screws? I can't remember. Nails? Nails. We use screwdrivers to screw nails into walls and doors. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Um, you've never used a screwdriver. You don't understand what it's there for. Like, how is a screwdriver and how is a screw different to a nail? And would you use the same tool? You know what I mean? Like, it's a completely different approach. So especially in financial management, because that's the, the that's one of the things we struggle with the visualization of the most. Yeah. I would suggest practically build yourself a little company in your mind. This is my company that you're going to use for the rest of the year. So create a little company for yourself based on a product or a service, preferably a product because that, that has more complexities to it, based on a product that you really like. So it's something that means something to you, you know, clothes or like, I don't don't know what it is, like whatever it is for you. There we go. Makeup, right? (laughs) So you have, you have a makeup manufacturing company and you, you, you make and you sell makeup, right? So you visualize, okay, so I've got my warehouse, I've got my machinery, I've got my final products, I've got my distribution channels, my stuff is all in Edgar's and, and wherever. So that's cool. Now, this is my company. Under what circumstances would I want to be asking anybody about variable costing? <laughs> what would be happening in my company that I would feel that variable costing is necessary? You know what I mean? Like, what would be happening when my, my operations manager comes to me and goes, oh, we have this problem and I don't know how to fix it. And you're going, the answer is variable costing. What is the problem that your operations manager has? Can you see what I'm saying? What is the gap? Because yeah, variable costing, it didn't come in with the Bible. It wasn't on like the Ten Commandments. Where did it come from? It's a tool that someone somewhere created to solve a problem. So if you understand the shape of the problem that person had, then you realize, oh, this is what this is for. So when your operations manager comes in and he goes, okay, we have a problem. You have so many different types of makeup and they all take different amounts. It's, they're all lipstick, but they all take different amounts of time to make. And you've just kind of allocated the same cost to all of them. Why? Why? Like, but that means that the really cheap lipstick that takes three seconds to make, we're, we have to sell for the same price as the one that takes five days. This, like, this isn't making sense. Oof. This one only has two ingredients and that has 500 ingredients. And they don't cost the same to make, but how do I differentiate that? We need to know how much this lipstick costs to make so that we understand how much to sell it for. And, and this one, because we're kind of estimating a sales price, but we're losing money all the time. And I don't, the reason we're losing money is because we don't know how much to sell it for because we don't know how much it costs. You make it. <laughs> okay, so we need to find a way to allocate costs to specific inventory lines based on what and so the different costing methodologies were born right so you create that picture of makeup for yourself then 
when for all of your costing stuff, for your valuations, because now I'm going to sell my makeup manufacturing. Okay. You're now selling it and you want to make lots of money off of this. So mm. how do you value your company and why? What valuation methodologies would you use? And under what circumstances would you use different valuation methods? What type, you know, totally, can you see the complete difference in how you approach the stuff? Not only that, but all of a sudden it becomes more interesting, right? It does become now the passion's back because you can visualize it. Now you're like, oh, actually, my like my little makeup company. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting now because tomorrow, when you do your FNAC, you're going to develop your own makeup line. It 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 burns fat. You're developing a lipstick that when you put it on, it burns calories throughout the whole day which means this is an invention, right? You are mm. developing something you're going to have to research it, but you know this is going to make a killing. So you're going to patent your, your, your you know, you're going to patent this thing and you're going to make a killing. So how do you recognize that in your financial statements? Mm. That's an intangible asset, right? So now when you're working through your financial instruments, when, sorry, when you're working through your intangible assets, now you're looking at all the stuff going, okay, so at which point, you know, the viability of making, just because I have the idea that, you know, I want a lipstick that burns calories, does that mean that I have an <clears throat> intangible asset? Like at which point would this turn in from an idea into an asset? Yeah. And so you read through Everest and go, okay, so I would have to have the meeting and I'd have to do viability tests and then I'd have to like test it and then hope that people don't die and have allergic reactions to the stuff and then it actually works. And then I can start capitalizing the stuff. So it changes everything.